Welcome to Round the Bend. I'm Doc Croc, the editor of this, the world's first electronic video comic. <laughs> right, now, who knows what important anniversary this is? It's a 12 years since Vince last told a good joke. Oh, 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 very Charlie, true, yes. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, well, that's enough of that. Uh, today's a day of peace and love. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's an auspicious day when the entire world celebrates one of the year's most important occasions. A day when there is dancing in the streets and joy in the air. Yes, that's right. It's my birthday. <laughs> so tell me, my loyal and trustworthy minions, where are my cards and presents? Uh, 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 cards and presents? Uh, hang on, hang on, don't tell me you'd forgotten. Uh, oh, sure. oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Right, right, OK, well, jolly good show. Ha, ha, now then, uh, viewers, you can watch the fast comic strip while this lot go and get my presents. The Odd Bod family, with loud Lucy. Oh, I do enjoy a good wedding, Lucy. And it's such a beautiful day. Mum! Mum! Is that Aunt Betty over there? The one you said looked like a hippo? Why does Cousin Kevin smell so much? Is it because his spots keep bursting, Mum? Shush, Lucy. Here comes the bride. God! She looks even uglier than you said, Mum! Oh, what a lovely long train. It's stupid! It may look stupid to you, but it'll help me to... Train you to keep quiet. Great. Now, for an opinion on that story, let's find out what the papers say. Great. Right. Boss, boss, this bucket of flowers has just arrived for you. Oh, how delightful. Who are they from? Don't know. It's blank. Turn it round, stupid. Well, I was out to know they'd write it on the back. <clears throat> to Doc Croc from the editors of all the other comics in the world. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> We man and the masters of the Looniverse. Outside, Castle, up your jumper. We man and the evil skeleton face. Prepare for battle. You cannot defeat me, puny we man. I have an army of invincible allies with special powers, including the mighty skunk bat. Who? I too have brought powerful friends. Meet my cousin, Sheep Ra, the woolly wonder. <laughs> Three heads are better than one, so I have enlisted Sir Bonsalot. I want to be on Wee Man's side. No, you don't. Cringe before the power of Poodleoid, my loyal battle hound, along with Bird Brain and Rock Bottom. And here comes my crony breadhead on his terror toaster. He uses his love. Bah! He always pops up when you don't want him. Our armies are assembled. This will be a mighty battle. We are eager to defeat you, puny do-gooders. Very well. Let the Blow Football Tournament commence! <laughs> Hurrah! Don't miss our next episode yeah, when Wee Man now. takes on Back End of a Bassos and really goes to town on him. Ah, oh, right, let's see what I've got for me birthday. Ed, what's this? A dead cockroach. Oh, marvellous. Well, <laughs> it's a very good dead cockroach. It's got all its legs. You could have it um, stuffed and mounted. Stuffed and melted. Yes, it would look quite good on the shelf over there. Maybe next to a stuffed and melted gag writing rodent called Vincent. <laughs> ah, Lucino, my faithful hottest. <laughs> what birthday present have you bought for your lovable old boss? Um, um where are you hiding it? Oh, oh, um, yeah. Uh, what is this? It's an antique. It was one of a pair. Very rare. Not to be sniffed at. <laughs> You can see that again. It's disgusting, smelly, and totally repulsive. At least I don't look like a handbag on legs. Oh, good grief. You can speak? Of course I can speak. Oh, can you swim? Uh, no. Right. Uh... Pity. 
Uh, yeah, hi. Is that rent a party? Look, I want to order a party today in the central sewer. Send 50 jellies, a dozen party hats, cakes, and, uh, you know, those little things that you blow, you know, the ones that go... Like that, you know, the feather in the end, you know, and streamers. And, uh, and, and lots uh, of don't forget the uh, bucket of raw liver. And don't forget the bucket of raw liver. The bucket yes. of raw liver. Oh, um, and uh, what time did you say it would be after the third street? Oh, thank you very much, actually. Oh, I heard about the party, have you, boss? Super. It's all in hand. Arranged weeks ago, actually. <laughs> that was the speaking clock, actually. The speaking clock, actually. Ooh, that reminds me. Tame for the adventure strip. <laughs> Round the Bend presents Spambo 5. The race against time. Time was running out. I had to get back to base. There was no other way. I had to jump. Luckily, the ground broke my fall. And both my legs. Oh, so la vie. But I remembered an old trick I learned in Nam. But I didn't have a pack of cards handy. So instead, I carved a wheelchair out of a trunk of a fallen oak. And luckily, the river got in my way and I couldn't stop. The chair splintered apart at the rapids. But I lashed the pieces together using a piece of old elephant dental floss to make a raft and battle. I got up, just before the waterfall, to crawl the rest of the way. I finally saw the flag that marked HQ. Or was I in time? Where have you been, Spambo? Uh... You're ten minutes late for knock time. I'm stripping you of your punctuality badge. Ah, oh, phew -y. This is the toughest cup pack I've ever been in. Coming soon, Spambo 27. Spambo goes on a thrilling high-speed journey into danger. But he knocks one of the little plastic cones over and fails his cycling proficiency test. Now it's over to John Potato for a news flash. The Potato Police today announced the arrest of the Colorado Beetle, the notorious crisp bag rustler. They also caught his accomplices, Billy the Slug, Calamity Caterpillar and Wild Bill Earwig. The villains were apprehended by the vigilant defender of vegetable rights, the Lone Potato. The gang will be charged with disturbing the peas. <coughs> Hi-ho, silverware, away! The Strange Tales of Psyche the Magnificent. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Big Top and the magic of Psycho the Magnificent. Now, first of all, I'm going to use my hypnotic powers on a member of the audience. You are feeling sleepy. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh. Yes, I am. Now you can help with the bareback riding. Oh, no. Not on a horse. Oh, no, no. On a bear. Go on. On you jump. On his back. Oh, uh, no, no. Hang on up there and I'll do my sharp shooting act. Hey, what? My gun, please. No, no, no. And my blindfold. Blindfold? Yes, no. It, it is of the utmost importance that you keep still, sir. Uh, we wouldn't want to damage the trapeze now, would we? <laughs> Don't worry, sir. The delightful dealer will be waiting with a safety net. Yeah. Where do you want it? Now for the famous head in the lion's mouth. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, yes, yes, yes. First of all, I'll need your head, sir. Get off! What? Keep still, sir. Uh, on second thoughts, I'll fill you with my human cannonball act. No, no. Here we yeah. go! Ah, the flying squad! Oh, no! More fun next week as Psycho here. performs Just in front of a jury and makes a monkey out of the prosecution and a set of matching back luggage back out of the judge. Come back here. Doc Crocs Nursery Spot presents Masters and Misses. Oh, look, there's Master Little and Mrs. Petite. They're very good friends. And here comes Master Tiny and Mrs. Small. They're very good friends, too. Oh, and here's Master Big Clumsy Gigantic Oaf. He never has any friends to talk to. I wonder why. Next week, Master Circus Clan shows off his big top and Mrs. Nudist shows off her big bottom. Right now, here she is, the singing compost heap, Kaylee Manua. We're in a real party mood here at the Round the Bend offices, and to keep up the fun mood, here's an especially festive edition of my Great Jokes page. Speaking of parties, that reminds me of the man who went to a party dressed as a biscuit. He was crackers. <laughs> and now, the jokes, folks. Have you heard the one about the vicar at the christening who said to the parents, Now, are you sure that you want to call your baby Big Smelly, Mr and Mrs Bottom? <laughs> one Stone Age man talking to another. Why did the chicken cross the road? 
Uh, what's the road? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Lemmy. Lemmy who? Lemmy in. I've got an invitation. <laughs> a man in a restaurant. Nan speaks to the waiter. Waiter, these eggs are bad. Don't blame me, sir. I only laid the table. <laughs> this regional, Vincent, will let Paige register name name eight on our cringeometer. Now over to our armchair critic for his verdict. Rubbish. That was the worst set of jokes I've ever heard in my life, and I've known Vincent for years. If you think you can do better, write to the address we'll show you at the end of the program. Thank you. Hello, David Colmore here. Oh. Hello, uh, David Colmore here. Sorry, I'm late. First off, cricket. Turn L around, you're facing the wrong way, you idiot. Who said that? Oh, hello. David Cornwall here. Well, a rather disappointing day for cricket fans, I'm afraid. An empty, downcast pitch at Lords says it all. Yes, rain has stopped play. So, instead, show jumping. We'd hoped to speak to Lucinda Biddley Widley about the decline in form of her old mare, but she obviously didn't want to comment. Oh, and not surprising, looking at the conditions of the old knack. Uh, one man in peak condition at the moment is Daley Thompson in our Sheffield studio. Let's see if he's ready to talk to us. Hello? No. Nobody there. Actually, we're probably a bit early. Uh, we did say we'd speak to him at 5.30. Oh, and by my watch, it's only 5.20. Well, let's hope that nothing goes wrong with the final item. Sit back and enjoy what promises to be a sensational display of skill and stamina as we go over to Manchester for international squash. <laughs> He's a jolly good dog. Come on, louder. Sing louder, you filthy and beautiful vermin. Louder. Oh, so say all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for that spontaneous show of affection. It deeply touched me. Loyal uh, servants. Uh, 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 <laughs> somebody at the side door for you, Doc. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, goody, this must be the kissogram greeting I booked. Oh, which one did you get? Uh, this one. Ah, uh, the 25 stone, really pearly fat lady on a skateboard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Last time I saw a figure like that, a big game hunter shot it. Shh, he's back. That was quick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wasn't that great, Doc? And didn't oh. get the squashed, did you? Did you enjoy it? Uh, Oh, it was delicious. Oh, it's very considerate of you to get me Meals on Wheels on top of all this party food. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you so much. Mm. False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, a Unidental production. Good evening. Reports are coming in from all over the country. Some reports are very good, most are average, and listen to this one. Geography 15% poor, history 12% useless, English 20% could do gooder. Hmm. Oh, and we've just heard that all false teeth in Britain have mysteriously disappeared, which means one in three people are walking around with an empty mouth. The government are to step in. Our reporter, Simon Safari Jacket, earlier today spoke to the Minister for False Teeth, John Lower Gummer, and asked him how grave the situation was. Meanwhile, in the Government Dental Research Laboratory, Roger Prentice, the apprentice dentist, is working late with his lovely assistant, Lily O'Lovely. Lily, look at this. What is it? It's a microscope. Oh, it's marvellous. Roger Prentice, the apprentice dentist here. No tooth too small, no cavity too large. I see. Who was it? The Minister for False Teeth. What did he say? He said... That bad, eh? I'm afraid so. I think he wants me to get to the root of this false teeth business. Roger, you know, I think some evil power is behind this. And how right she was. False teeth were on the move. From the four corners of the globe, dentures were dropping out and falling in. Greetings, fellow falsies. Thank you. It stopped chattering. I can't. I'm nervous. Hail, Earth teeth. I come from a different galaxy far away, where it is teeth who are the superior beings. He's got a lovely set of molars, hasn't he? Mm. No more will you be spat upon by the humans. No more will you be down in the mouth. No more will you be fed up to the back gums. Tomorrow, the upper set will get the upper hand. Tomorrow! 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 Excuse me. What is it? Does it have to be tomorrow? Only I was thinking nipping out for a bite tomorrow. Silence! Humans out! Teeth in! Humans out! Teeth in! Humans out! Teeth in! Humans out! Teeth in! Will the menacing molars munch their way to supremacy? Will head teeth lead his well-drilled truth to victory? Find out in the next incisive episode of False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, next week on Round the Bend.
This guide to the stars' bathrooms is absolutely super. Just the thing for my interview with the famous Aswat. Now, according to this, they should be around here somewhere. <coughs> no, no. That must be the Houses of Parliament. There we are, exactly where it says in the book. Fame and fortune, here I come. Here, fame at last. This interview will rock the world's press. Doc will be so proud. It's all champagne and Kentucky Fried Chicken from now on. Luxury all the way. Tony, excuse Tony, me. Is that a rat in the Oh, flush him. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. <laughs> now, isn't this a great record? The classic sound of Elton John and Crocodile Rock. Great. <laughs> and that reminds me of a joke. Who's the finished pop star in the world? Mick Jogger. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rubbish. I've enjoyed this party. The time off has done me a power of good. Oh, that's good. I'm so pleased. Because you're not getting paid for it. Hmm. And I hope you're well ahead with the drawings for next week's show. No problem, sir. I've already done it. It's safely over there, see? <laughs> Fool, cretin, imbecile! I will knock your head off for that. <laughs> oh, grab your partner by the coat. Twist him round and grab his throat. Now he's standing on your toes. Pop him on his hairy nose. Come on, Jemima! Oh, nice one. <laughs> right, uh, oi, oi, stop it, stop it, you lot. Just stop it. Reed, I think you lot should watch the comic strip. What happens next isn't going to be pretty. <gasps> oh, oh. Round the Bend True Romance presents Broken Romance. Dave, don't go. I can't live without you. I'm sorry, Mandy. That's the way it's got to be. Oh, Dave, can't you see? You're tearing me apart. Oh, sorry. You must be caught in my cardi. Strange Hill School. The Intergalactic Academy. Quiet, quiet, you lot. Quiet, please. Now button your lips. Okay. Thank you. The head will be down shortly with a very important announcement. Oh, there he is now. Hello. It is the Intergalactic School Sports Day next month, and I want our school to win. For the next four weeks, there will be extra PT lessons for everyone. Understand? Sir, I can't do PT. I've got this, sir. Um... Yeah, hand over your money, buster, or I'll blow your brains out. Hmm. That's nothing that a simple massage couldn't sort out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Any more back chat will be dealt with in the same way. Right, now, pay attention. First of all, we'll start off by jogging. And I... Oh! oh my legs have gone. Yeah, we're off. We don't fancy jogging. Neither do we! Let's split! What? Oh, no! Ooh. Oh, and here comes the headmaster. Dick, where's the class disappear to, Glamby? You're for it. Well, yeah, but I, I can explain. Oh, but can... you're getting no, but... the boot. Oh, yeah, oh. and don't come back till you find them. Oh, I've got a stinking headache. Well, you wouldn't have a stomachache. No more cake for me! That's what I call a party. That's what I call a massacre. Oh, I've got a terrible head. Your body isn't too good either. Ha oh, ha. Well, thank you all for a wonderful party. I'm sorry it had to end like that, but you know how I hate violence. Mm, thank goodness the 24th of July only comes once a year. Yes, it did. 24th? No, 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 it's the 25th day. My birthday is the 25th. No, 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 don't be silly. It absolutely is the 24th. My very sophisticated diary tells me so. Yes, darling, it's the 24th. Oh, super, fantastic. I got it wrong. It's really my birthday tomorrow. Uh, you could all pay me another set of uh, presents oh, no, and arrange no, another no. surprise party for me. <laughs> Much more lovely oh, food and drink no, and plenty of games and songs in there. Hey, hang on, where are you going? Oh, come back here, you cowards. Come back here. I tell you, come back.